cloud radio show on the planet. E-Block Radio. No, probably can't hear us. Now, now you need to start on another one, Killer K. Okay. Got that one out the way. One more, one more, baby. One more. Check, check, check. One more. There we go. All right, we good now. We got sound. It sound better. Should be. Hit me in the comment box, man. Make sure you can hear us, dog. Shout out to my man, Killer K, dog. Yo, hit that link in the uh, hit the link in the motherfucking thing. <laughs> yeah, hit the, the link in the link. comments, dog. And go to YouTube, cause I can't read your comments if you're watching the watch party, dog. If you're watching the watch party right now, man, hit the link in the comments because I can't hear you and shit. I mean, I can't see you. I can't read you. Whatever, then. Yeah, sure. We need to. All right, fuckers, you ready to let go? Uh, shit was popping. Rita just popped in on IG Live. What up, dog? What it do? For sure, for sure. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Yo, 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 you know what it is, man. The Live is Cloud Radio Show on the planet. And that will be Earth, sir. <laughs> Straight from the E-Block Radio Live on your dial, man. Right this moment is your boy, the hood, Howard Stern. Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205. Got my man Monk Money in the building. Red Zone. For sure, man. Uh, angry man must be uh, out on, on hiatus and shit. Yeah. Or probably on the plantation like normal. Like, I don't know. It's a whole ass ashtray right there. What's cool? Oh, you using it. Oh, oh, so you can read comments. Oh. Oh, she said ain't no volume on FB. I fixed it, though. You can slide back to uh, Facebook if you want to, um, or you can hit that uh, you can hit that link in the uh, in the IG uh, in the IG bio. And you can go straight to YouTube and shit. We got sound now, so we good. Uh, should be good, hopefully, because I think I fixed it. If not, <laughs> yeah, my man uh, Killer K just checked back in on IG, dog. Yeah, congratulations for real, for real though. That's what's up, dog. What up, dog? See you, For sure. What up, bro? Um, shit is Friday, bro. Uh, Social media Friday. Make sure you hit up my man's. Real Monk Money, and of course, myself at Hood Howard Stern. Uh, that's going to be on Twitter and Instagram. And even though he ain't here, you still got to hit up my man, Angry Man 48205. That's on Instagram, all right? Angry Man 48205, dog. Hey. What's popping with you, dog? What's been going on with you? You, you off today, bro. A lot of shit going on. No, you off today, dog. The fuck? What's popping, bro? You good? I'm tighter than a virgin, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I don't know. I don't I've had no version a whole bunch of years, bro. Oh, 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 I don't want one either. <laughs> you don't want one. No version <laughs> alive no and shit. No version alive. It's almost man. Christmas, my guy. Damn. Like it's like next, next week. week. Yeah. We doing any shows next week? Um, I don't know, man. I think I should, we should take a couple of days off. Take a couple of days off. Yeah, we can Christmas. take the whole week off if you want to. Fuck it. Christmas is on Wednesday. I mean, we can be back Monday if you want to. That's up to you, though. I don't know. Well, we can do one Friday. Do one Friday we'll after know. Christmas. All right, we'll let y'all know. Uh, let me see. Darlene just checked in. Said hello, cuz. What's up? What up, though? What up, though? Um, shit, dog. This morning, though, right? So I'm looking at uh, I'm looking through Facebook, looking through my uh, through my timeline, cause I like to talk about you know little random shit. Mm-hmm. And you know what I ran across, dog? Mm-hmm. Forty six motherfuckers got arrested in Warren on sex trafficking, dog. What? Forty six. Sex trafficking in yes, Warren. Yes, uh, in Warren, dog. Set forty six. Well, sex trafficking, dog. Forty six. And they, they said about 20 of them. Are you ready for this shit, dog? Now, see, I don't know how this worked, though. I don't know if they was talking about the ones who was, like, selling pussy or what, but they said about 20 of them was women. 
So I don't know if they saying was with them women. Women, yeah. So I don't know if they talking about the women who was actually you know uh, selling pussy and shit. But it can't be right. So this is these are women. So we got dudes. stealing women. That's fucked up. Yeah, man. I, I mean I'm guessing. Like I, I ain't sure all the way. You know what I'm saying? I ain't sure all the way. Uh, Chris just checked in, and said, "Wow, dog." That's what I'm saying. Forty fucking six, nigga. That's crazy. Wow, that's ridiculous. That's fucking bro. ridiculous, dog. That's how. That's right how there, hard Warren. Though. So okay, so they cracking down on it. That's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah, they cracking down on it, though. And they, and somebody, <laughs> cause we known for that shit now. Right, I, and that's fucked up, dog. And one one thing about it though is uh, it ain't funny. But when I when I read this post, <laughs> I, I I did kind of laugh though. But it, this ain't this ain't white van shit though. This is a, <laughs> somebody says it's the uh, back page reunion and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know that shit ain't funny, that shit dog. Cold man, it's cold blooded. <laughs> I laughed like a motherfucker. I'm sorry. I did laugh though, cause the shit was funny. But they was they they was taking motherfuckers on back page though. Yeah, for I remember sure. that shit. Hell yeah, that's a big ass motherfucking joint though. Yeah. <laughs> With all the we no, you know I can't talk. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait till it's your turn and then I smoke. Okay. But uh, if you are uh, checking us out right now, man, make sure you uh you roll up and smoke with us and shit. It's the waking bait. For sure. Uh, shout out to my man. Um, my man Brandon and shit. Uh, Lay Revenge that check us out on IG. Oh, yeah. Uh, fell through uh, Easy Street on. Wednesday, yeah. yeah. So uh, shout out to my man coming through showing some love. Karaoke, we uh, got a ball on karaoke. Y'all be missing karaoke, man. That should be fun, man. Y'all don't even know y'all be missing. No, for sure. Y'all gotta pull up on uh, karaoke Wednesdays, one six one zero one East Ten Mile Road, man. It's Easy Street Saloon. Make sure you pull up tonight too, cause it's Friday. Just cause it's Friday, go come party with us. But tomorrow, uh, if you've seen the, the intro, then obviously you know we having a party tomorrow. Shout out to uh, Gigi. Uh, it's going to be her birthday, uh, well, her birthday next week, but we celebrate her birthday tomorrow at uh, Easy Street Saloon, so make sure you pull up, man, 16101 East 10 Mile Road, man, come fuck with your boy, dog. Uh, my man going to be on the uh, ones and twos, DJ Weasel, all right, Weasel. DJ Weasel, uh, on the ones and twos, man, all motherfucking nights, so come through. Uh, Chris said, and they called the motherfuckers on Telegraph in 96 in the plaza in an abandoned store. Word. Word. Dog, I didn't know that shit. They caught him where? At a uh, at an abandoned store on Telegraph 96. I know where that's at. Oh, shit. I do remember that. Yeah, next to like the little dollar store or some shit. I saw that on the news. Dog, shit going crazy. Yeah, that shit crazy. Bro. I mean, dog, it's so... <laughs> I I don't understand what's going on. Like, it, I mean, I know times is tight and shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? But and, and to be honest with you, some of these places, though, some of these places, though, some of this shit going on. Damn, can I say this? What? <laughs> How many of these motherfuckers are really getting took? I mean, cause some of these women just selling pussy for it. I mean, like, I, but I, I don't understand the whole taking of the uh, taking of the women. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of a lot of women out here would do it just to do just it. Just to do it. Yeah, you that's know, what I'm saying. Just recruit them, and, and I think it's just these motherfucking. A lot of those might be getting lazy. recruited, though. Huh? A lot of those might be getting recruited. This night, this might not be the same the same uh, crowd that's getting snatched. This might be the ones who volunteering. Wow. I mean, you never know though. I mean, either way, it's fucked up, though. I mean, you got to live how you live and shit, I suppose. But at the end of the day, though, man, stop taking these motherfuckers for real. Why? Shit ain't safe out here, dog. It ain't safe at all. Again, dog, PSA, dog. Check, check for your aunties, mamas, cousins, all that good shit. Uh, <laughs> Chris saying it's the money. For sure. For I, sure. I mean, it's obviously money involved. Definitely. That's why the sex and porn industry doing so well. Plenty of money, dog. <laughs> Plenty of money, dog. But yeah, that's that's fucked up though. Shit, uh, forty six motherfuckers. Forty six motherfuckers got Hell, yeah. arrested, bro. Arrested, right? So it's, so it's a gang more. It's a gang more for real. And it's, and the shit, it's been they've been catching motherfuckers for the past few months. Yeah. So these a lot of people. It's over a hundred people that get caught for sex trafficking. Yes, bro. Dog. That's crazy. Right here. Right here. Right here, dog. Niggas don't think it's happening. But see, that's why this shit going on for real, and that's why last week, or not last week, but Wednesday when we was on, we was talking about old girl from uh shit I can't remember. I think she was from Brooklyn, mm -hmm. who uh who faked the the kidnapping yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. No, see that's why that shit ain't go fly. You playing around, you right, playing now. around right? There's people out here getting snatched up for, for real, real, dog. For real. Hell yeah. Um, what else did I run across, dog? I'm trying to see what I else I ran across. Uh, Eddie Murphy though. So Eddie Murphy. Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live. I can't wait. I want to, I got a DVR that shit I guess because uh, we're going to be partying and shit. Yeah. But I do want to catch that shit though. He ain't been on in motherfucking 35 years. 35 years. I can't wait to see that shit though. Yeah. 
Uh, Chris was just checked in. What up, though? Said yeah. morning, fellas. Yeah, um, we gonna get to our for real topic in just a minute, dog. We gonna talk about a little bit about uh, Trump's impeachment and what it means to us, and then we gonna talk about our top three Christmas movies, man. So be thinking about that right now. What are your top three Christmas movies, dog? You know, I got uh, three in mind, and one of them I already shared last week, so you already know yeah, what one of them is. Yeah, we know <laughs> Whatever, dog. We know all yours. <laughs> Classic pothead just checked in. What up, nephew? What up, <laughs> talking about fuck Donald Trump. Up, for real, yeah. Jay just checked in. What's goody? What's up, bro? Almost, uh, almost birthday for him too and shit. What up, yeah, though? Yeah, happy birthday, bro. We for probably sure. won't be on air for his birthday. I won't get a shout out to my baby brother, man. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. No uh, soldier, true soldier, true brother in arms. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, my bro. bro. For sure. Uh, Reed just checked in. What up, though, Reed? Make sure you do a uh, slide down the Easy Street uh, tonight and check out your favorite bartender, Miss Reed. Uh, also in the building. Uh, let me see who else we got. So we already, yeah, we shouted out everybody. Rita back on there and shit. Uh, over there making beats and shit. What up, though, Rita? Um, yeah, so, like, what else I want to talk about before we get to our for real shit, dog? Is there something else going on? Um, you ain't watching no Netflix yet? You ain't got time, huh? You're too busy motherfucking breaking your toes and shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck break your toes, my toe, bro, my toes, shit. <laughs> shit ain't funny, that shit hurt it. <laughs> I'm trying to think of some other shit before we get to it for real time because it is 10.30. I guess it's time to get to it and shit. Okay, yeah, I guess we get to it. Uh, yeah. First, of course, we got to go to a commercial break, though. Uh, if you're on IG Live, unfortunately, you can't see the commercials, but you can hit that link in the bio and go to YouTube and What's you can up, watch Brandon? the For Real show. You said Bad Santa, his favorite one. You said what? Brandon. Bad Santa? Yeah. Oh, Bad Santa. That was my shit, though. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, top three, though. Top three. Bad Santa is one of them. That wasn't even in my top three, though. No. no, it wasn't. Oh, you know what? I do got one question up before we get to the uh, for real topic and before we go to uh, break. Uh, my man Bo, I threw this in the uh, group text yesterday. And uh, this was a tough motherfucking sh uh, question, dog. So I'm going to ask y'all real quick. We ain't going to spend too much time on it. But, dog, your number one favoritist. Number one. Favoritist? Favoritist, dog. Motherfucking hip hop song, dog. Ever. Did you see that shit? Yeah, I saw it. Dog, that's I tough. Comment. I one motherfucking song. One song is too many. I can't. Dog, yeah, it's too many. To, so I, this is what I came up with. So I had a, I had two. Uh, the and it was a tie. And the, the first one was uh, was a uh, one more chance. You know, it's Biggie, and then motherfucking cocktails. Too Man, short. My first hip hop <laughs> song I started fucking with for real, for real, was Das Effects. Damn. Effects. Throwback. Dice effects. They want to flex. What flex? flex. Yes. <laughs> With dice effects. Yeah. They want to flex. Yeah, yeah. That's Duh. Okay. That's okay. Shit. That was my. That was my first song that I fucking yeah. sung along to for show for show. Yeah. Uh, Tiff said, "Hey, young world, easy. Hey, look, easy though. Um, speaking of easy." <laughs> uh, I think my first experience with motherfucking hip hop for real was was actually Easy E though, over in uh, uh across the way over at uh my man Coach out the coat. Hooping in the uh, hooping in the backyard, dog. They was playing motherfucking Easy E or NWA and shit in the backyard. That was my first motherfucking like real like really listening to hip hop and shit. But it wasn't it, it didn't turn out to be my favorite. But it did influence me though because I did like West Coast shit after that. So that that shit was him. My knees are bone connected to my hotty ha ha ha. The tip of the jab, the jump of the jab, and that's your favorite one. That was my shit, boy. That's your shit, that's dog. My shit. That's, my first, that, that's why I first started loving rap. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I mean, like my first hip hop word that I knew. Word for word. Word for word. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, shit. I think my, the first one I knew word for word was cocktails and shit. So that's why it was one of my favorite and shit. Then one sure. more chance and shit. Cause you know what I'm saying. I was a uh, you know I was a sexy fat black nigga and shit. So I had to had to know those words and shit. But <laughs> I said, let me see. Uh, she said, I ain't no joke. Okay. I ain't no joke with second and shit. You know what? I'm, I ain't gonna hold you up though. It's not gonna be popular, dog. I don't like that shit. What? Rakim. You don't like rock I don't, I don't like oh, it. I don't like trip, that shit. Trip. I don't like that shit. You but but you but you know me though. Like I I'm not a I'm not a lyrical. Yeah. Like I got the. I mean, well I don't know. I ain't got no joke. I mean I, I ain't got no joke. I ain't no joke. Did have a, a dope ass motherfucking production, but like I don't know. It's too, it's it's too much for me. It's too too much lyricism. <laughs> too much lyricism. I mean, come on, dog. You gotta like the dumb down music. Exactly. You gotta understand. I'm a too short fan, dog. I'm not. I'm, I'm into the bullshit. Yeah. I'm into the bullshit, man. <laughs> that's probably why. Well, I ain't gonna call it bullshit, but that's why I like the baby nine shit. I like that shit, though. The baby hard, though. Yeah. I fuck with the baby too, but I'm just saying, though, like, 
Coke said my unborn child by Tupac and shit. All the Tupac shit was. Yeah. So I'm saying it's too hard. Yeah, it is too hard to do one, one, to do one song and shit. My my favorite motherfucking Pac song for real though. Then we gonna get off this shit and get to the for real topic. Uh, she said you don't like Rocky. You <laughs> said get off your own damn podcast. <laughs> No, for real, I, I ain't I ain't fucking rock him like that. But my uh, favorite uh, Tupac song was uh, shit. What's that? What's the name of that motherfucker dog? Uh, with the with the Isley Brothers beat. Oh, fuck. Shit, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, shit. Now I'm bumping to the hoes house, bumping Isley. Is it cool to fuck? Is what I'm asking. Bitch, recognize game start laughing. Dog, what's the name of that goddamn song? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Bury me a G, dog. Yeah, That's my shit. Yeah. That's my motherfucking favorite Bear pop song and yeah. shit. Yeah. Anyway, all right, let's get off that shit, man. We gonna go to commercial break. We gonna get back and get on our for real topic, man. We gonna talk a little bit about Trump's impeachment and what that means to us. But then we gonna talk about the top three. Uh, Christmas movies, man. So uh, he said all the pop. Yeah, for real. All right, so we're going to go to commercial break real quick, dog. We're going to be right back in just about a minute. So be thinking about those three, uh, those top three Christmas movies, dog. We're going to talk about that when we get back. But in the meantime, you already know what it is. The Live is Cloud Radio Show on the planet. Earth, nigga. Straight from the E-Block Radio Live when you're down, man. We'll be back in about a minute. <laughs> Since America has been America, we've been fighting for equality and freedom. This freedom was supposedly given to us in 1865 when Abraham Lincoln decided to sign the Emancipation Proclamation three years earlier, only to find out that the prison would become the new plantation, locking away thousands upon thousands of black bodies each year, destroying the black community. So I've got a story to tell. Those brilliant bastards. This is a fictitious account of a non-fictitious reality of being black in America. Get your own autographed copy today for only $20. You can send payment via Cash App, PayPal, or Venmo. Whichever payment option you choose, please do include your mailing address, and we will ship anywhere in the U.S. for no additional cost. Get your copy today. Check one, check two, check one, check two. We back in the building, man. What up, though? Thank y'all for hanging out with us through the commercial breaks, man. Be sure that you do slide down to the Easy Street Saloon tonight, 16101 East 10 Mile Road, man. Come party with your homies uh, tonight and tomorrow, dog. So make sure you pull up both of those days, man. Got the live DJ spinning on the ones and twos tomorrow. And then tonight, we just going uh, to be getting it in on some Friday shit. $5 shots all night, man. $3 shots up until 7 o'clock. So pull up early, dog, if you want to get down. But you already know what it is. The Live is Cloud Radio Show on the planet. Earth, cuz. Straight from the E-Block Radio Live on your dial right this moment. My man, Monk Money, holding it down. Man, you know I'm in this thing, you hear me? And, of course, it's your boy, the Hood, Howard Stern, Q Lewis, holding it down live from the 48205, man. Yes, Tiff, I don't like Rakim, so get the fuck off of my jock. <laughs> I said my jock. <laughs> my jock. Now you don't like Rock Kim, bro. All right, so let, let's jump into it, dog. It's ten. It's ten thirty-eight. So we're gonna talk about this for a few minutes. Not, Trump. Not, not too long. Yeah, not too long. But all right. So first of all, I gotta say this about the Trump impeachment. All right. First of all, where the fuck was all you niggas at? That's on my timeline and shit. Where the fuck was y'all at when I was in high school? Because all of a sudden, you motherfuckers are smart as hell about all this government shit. You know, I damn near failed government. Where the fuck was y'all at then? Like, we needed Facebook then because niggas is getting on this bitch ridiculing niggas. I, I needed help. No, I need the help. <laughs> now this bitch like, fuck y'all, y'all stupid and peace with me. You know what, motherfucker? Yeah, I'm stupid then, because I don't know. But like, all these niggas smart as hell. Facebook, man. I, sometimes I hate Facebook, dog. <laughs> niggas be on this bitch. So it's so it's many technology. woke motherfuckers here. It's technology. Period. Got these motherfuckers woke as a son. No, it's man. woke and smarter than a all motherfucker. Of a <laughs> right. Where was y'all at when I was in high school, dog? Cause I dare to fail government, dog. I ain't know nothing about this shit. I needed some help. So, so what I do understand, though, for real, is that uh, with the impeachment, obviously, there's a whole fifty-nine motherfucking thousand steps to this shit to somebody actually getting taken out of office. And I don't think to this point nobody has actually gotten to that point 
uh, where the, the Senate has passed some shit and they got, you know, the charges went through and actually got taken out of office. So I do understand that point. But people on the motherfucking... Oh, sh- Dog, I'm just saying, I think it's going hard, though, for real. So let's just talk about it real quick, though. What do it mean for us, though, for real? I mean, when it comes to when it comes to President Trump and uh, America and shit, I mean, what difference do it really make at this point? Like, even if they have took him out, like, let's say impeachment really, really did go through, and like they just like kicked him out of office and shit. What's next, though, motherfucking Mike Pence? Like, I, I don't want that motherfucker uh, yeah. either. I mean, so <laughs> you gotta ass out, period. 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 You no, know, it don't matter what the what, you know which one you get. You know what I'm saying? But I think all this shit is some bullshit anyway. I don't think I don't think it'll affect us. No way, no way, no how. <laughs> I, I really don't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We still like visitors over this motherfucker. They tell us visitors. We are, bro. We still like visitors. They tell us to go back to Africa. And still, <laughs> still to this day. To huh? this day, <laughs> niggas go back to Africa. So like he you visited. Know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> Impeachment at all. Impeachment at all. Impeachment at all. You know what I'm saying? Like I really don't like me personally, bro, like I really don't like to get involved in the politics thing. It's a great thing that you're impeaching my man, but he's supposed to have been impeached a long fucking time ago. Yeah. But like I said, it's so many steps that you gotta go through to impeach this man, bro. Yeah. Like if he do get impeached, I don't think he's gonna get impeached because the same motherfuckers that voted him in that bitch. Still got his back, right, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I mean, I don't think he'll get another turn. Yo, somebody explained this shit, uh, again, a bunch of smart motherfuckers on Facebook and shit, but uh, somebody explained this shit in a way that I, I couldn't explain it no better, though. This shit was classic. That nigga say, uh, that nigga say impeachment of Trump is like, it's like a woman and her homegirls finding all the proof that the nigga cheated and shit, but in order to break up with him, she got to convince all of his frat brothers <laughs> that he wasn't cheap. <laughs> no, that shit made so much sense to me, though. That shit, shit made, made so no much sense to me. It made sense, though, because, you know, it, it basically it ain't going to happen. Like, so you got a whole bunch of motherfucking proof, but you got to prove to motherfuckers who was with them doing the dirt and shit that he wasn't doing nothing wrong. That's basically what it is. Like, that's the best analogy I ever heard and shit. So shout out to some niggas being actually smart on Facebook and shit, though. That stupid. <laughs> but I ain't going to lie, though. When I was a... Uh, Oh, let me say this though, because I was watching, I was watching the impeachment and shit. You know, the uh, when they was doing the votes and shit. So it went off for a minute, and the only reason I actually caught it is because I was turning it on Channel Seven to watch Good Times. So this ain't got nothing to do with the impeachment, dog. I was so motherfucking disappointed with Good Times Live, dog. That shit was trash, bro. I heard, I heard it was. Man. That shit was trash, bro. See, she like, yeah, that shit was trash. Shit like that don't excite me. I, I, I wanted to see it though, cause I heard the uh, I heard the other one. I heard the Jeffersons last year was good. I did, I missed it though. If it ain't the original, yeah. I don't know fucks. I don't. I mean, it was it. the acting was horrible though. Like you know what, the acting was horrible. But then it made me think, like, damn, was the shit really that bad? Like, cause I, I mean, they did the same script. Like they did the same script from you know one of the shows. And I'm just like, damn, like was the acting just really that bad? And shit? No. Cause that shit was horrid, nigga. That I was, was watching horrible. that shit like, man, what the fuck? Back in those days, you believed in that shit. Cause it was, it was, <laughs> yeah. It was those days, you know what I'm saying? I watched that shit the other day, though. I was like, man, what the fuck? But anyway, uh, that's uh, neither here nor there. But that's what was going on and shit when the uh, when the shit was on. But when it when it came back and they said they had got voted through on both counts and shit, I was surprised. I ain't gonna lie. Well, I knew it. I knew it wasn't gonna really do shit for us, but I'm surprised that that it even passed this far. Though. I mean, because this motherfuckers in his own party don't even want to fuck with cuz. You know That's what I'm true. saying? That's so, true. you know that shit was going to happen. When, once these motherfuckers start going against each other and shit, yeah. you see the motherfucking shit that's about to happen, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I mean, I watch movies. You know? <laughs> <He> watch <laughs> movies. I watch movies. You got an idea what's going on. a little small <laughs> idea. I probably ain't smarter than any of these Facebook motherfuckers, but <laughs> that's because I don't smart. give a fuck about none of this shit, so. You know and that's, I mean? that's what's wrong with, all right, I, I'm going to get off my soapbox in a minute, but that's what's wrong with black people too, though. Like, it's for real. Like, when, when that shit went down, I was literally, like, watching Good Times and shit, so I posted this shit. I was like, damn. The impeachment and shit went through and shit. Uh, no, I said, uh, yeah, your president got impeached. I don't really know what that means for sure, but it hit me after this motherfucking good times go off and shit, right? Which I could have talked about it during good times because that shit was trash. But, uh, yeah, I, like, I really meant that shit. I was, I'm not for sure about everything, the particulars and shit. So I'm like, yeah, so explain to me, like, what's going on and shit for real. And I think what's wrong with black people, though, is that we, we be trying... <laughs> I, I hate being on my soapbox, dog. But we be taking every opportunity to make motherfuckers look bad, though. Yeah, us. If niggas don't know, 
Did you say that shit? Don't be acting like we fucking retarded for not knowing what's going on for real. No. Cause I know shit that you don't know. Yeah, yeah. And you know shit that I don't know. You ain't the smartest motherfucker. <laughs> exactly. You know, right. Learn some more, motherfucker. Dog, people on Facebook like you stupid motherfucker. Impeachment me this like no. Just share what it means and it's, keep it moving. Yeah, though. relax. Bro. Goddamn, relax, brother. We don't know we ain't in tune like you are, bro. <laughs> right. We ain't in tune. We ain't woke and shit. Woke. Hey, look, it was a uh, it was a debate last night too. I believe. I think it was last night, and I missed it. Uh, it was Andrew Yang and uh. Bernie old ass and shit, but uh, I can't. I'm not gonna. I don't. I don't particularly want to vote. Period. But uh, I'm not voting for Bernie Sanders. I, I I like I like what he's saying. You know a little bit. Um, he was in the trenches with a few uh you know select people, uh fucking seventy years ago. But <laughs> I don't know what he go to for us right now. But Andrew Yang though got some pretty good ideas. I, I want to actually look a little bit more into his policies. But I know that the major one that's, that's like that he's been talking about is stimulating the economy by giving uh it was either households or I think individual taxpayers I think a thousand dollars a month uh to put towards you know whatever business venture or whatever you're trying to do you know with your life basically and that I think that would actually stimulate the economy though and For that would, sure yeah I think so because people want to people want to start their own businesses people want to get financially independent and I think. It's a it's a dope ass concept, but I think it won't fly because I I think the powers that be are too scared for us to be financially it's too free. Much, it's too much for black yeah. folks. <laughs> right, because too much financial Thousands freedom. Dollars. Wow. Right. I mean, you could actually. I mean, so that's extra. You know what I'm saying? So that means you could actually be working on that business. You know what I'm saying? That's twelve. That's twelve thousand dollars a year that you could be using towards your own business. Like, just think about that shit, though. That's, that'd be dope as Hell fuck. fuck, yeah, dog. For real, for real. But anyway, uh, enough about the politics, dog. Let's uh, let's talk about the other shit. Because I don't want to talk about Trump's impeachment no more. I think we understand to this point that he not going nowhere, so he, he there. But, and see, this is the thing, too, though. I, I got to say this before we move forward. Um, the only thing I can say about Trump is that he honestly don't give a fuck, yeah. right? And this is... this and he's is honest as a fuck. <laughs> right. And this is the... This is what I wanted Obama to be in his second term, cause like in real life they not go, they not, they can't get you out of there. So on his way out, he should have passed all kind of shit and talked all kind of shit. He want to live on a legacy better than what we thought he was gonna do. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I know. I mean, his legacy lives on, I guess. Still, it does. Still, no matter what we think. But yeah, I, I wish he would have did it too. You know? What I know, like, right? I wish he, he was looking at the bigger picture. Not, not niggerish, but. But niggerish. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. I mean, because that's what this motherfucker is. He being real niggerish, mm-hmm. dog. For real. He more right. of a nigga yeah. than Obama was. Yes, 100%. <laughs> right. 100%. 100%, dog. He grabbed pussies in his... He grabbed pussies <laughs> all the way to the White House. And told you. And told you. Told you he was grabbing pussies. <laughs> wow. Fuck him, dog. All right, we out of here, dog. We ain't talking about that shit no more. All right, top three Christmas movies, man. Hit me in the comment box right now, dog. We want to talk about the top three Christmas movies, dog. What are your top three? Um, should you... Did you think about that shit at all? You don't fuck with Christmas movies, Yeah, though. I do. Scooby-Doo. Dog, this Scooby-Doo. nigga said Scooby... What? Yeah. That's not a movie, dog. Uh, it is. It's a Christmas movie, Scooby-Doo. It's Christmas movie. <laughs> you fucking serious right now? Man, I don't fuck around, bro. Like, I... I love Christmas. I love yeah. the thought of being around the family. I love all... Like, it takes a lot of people to get in the Christmas spirit. My Christmas spirit goes through all through the year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, here we go. I'm just, be, I'm just being real, man. <laughs> I try to be jolly all through the year. You know what yeah. I'm talking about? But, uh... Sit I, jolly. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't partake into the movies like that, bro. Like, yeah. honestly, like... But I do Sit have one. Good. One that stick with me all the way to, since I was fucking a baby. And I must watch this one. You must watch it. Must it. Must it. Must it? I must it watch okay, this what, what, is, what is It's the Christmas movie. What? The, the dude with the motherfucking, the, the big ass snow, snow suit, and the dude beating up on the dude. You shoot your eye out. Oh, you motherfucking uh, Christmas story. That's what I said. You said Christmas movie, Christmas nigga. Story. <laughs> Christmas story. All right, I got you. No, that's actually, that's one of mine, too, though. Yeah, that's one of mine. I gotta watch it. The motherfucking leg for the lamp. The leg for the lamp. <laughs> The dog's <laughs> fucking up the turkey. I just got out. Look at Tug getting stuck to the pole and shit. I only got that one, yeah. Yeah, you ever tried that shit? Hell no. <laughs> After watching that shit, I don't want to be going Hell that no. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure your shit will get stuck to that motherfucker. Yeah, First of all, I'm not putting my motherfucking tongue on the pole. No way. Pause. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, that shit's not happening, dog. Uh, <laughs> Rita said Polar Express. I've never seen Polar Express. You seen Polar Express? 
That's what Tom Hanks, right? right? Was, uh, that's like some animated type shit. Yeah, I ain't hit though. See, like I ain't into that shit. Like, man, I ain't yeah. into that shit. Like y'all. Uh, what about uh? What about the what's called it? What? Charlie Brown shit. Charlie Brown Christmas. Never got into the Charlie Brown. Why? Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer, nigga. Mm-hmm. The fuck? Man, you ain't never been a kid, nigga. You came yeah, out as a adult. I guess nigga. so. I guess so. Right. <laughs> Rudolph I guess that shit don't really count, though. That shit don't you said movies. I'm getting yeah, I movies. like fucking movies. Yeah. But cartoons for sure, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Hit me in the comment box right now, man, if you got your top three Christmas movies, dog, because we're getting ready to get into the Christmas holiday. Also, too, man, if you haven't done all your Christmas shopping, make sure that you do pick up a copy of Those Brilliant Bastards, only $20 autographed copy. Great stocking stuffer. Uh, you want to give somebody something to read for uh, for Christmas. Uh, Crystal said The Preacher's Wife. That's a Christmas movie? I don't know. Is it? I never watched the whole thing. Dog, me neither. <laughs> we should be ashamed of ourselves, right? I never right? watched the whole thing, bro. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Rita says it's better than you think. I was talking about Polo Express. Uh, the Preacher's Wife, though, I've never seen it in its entirety. Never. And I never, uh, okay, so I guess I can go ahead and be honest with it. I've never wanted to see it in its entirety. Yeah. Well, Eve's Bayou was another one I ain't never seen. Oh, you got to see that, though. I, ain't see that. I, didn't, I didn't watch it for real until I was an, an adult, for real. I ain't never watched it. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's deep, though, for real, actually. It's pretty I heard, deep. I heard. Yeah, it's pretty deep. Uh, the preacher's wife, but I honestly didn't even. Oh shit, it is Christmas. I, okay, I do remember some parts. I remember it was Christmas time and okay. shit. Yeah. All right, so my uh, my top three though. Um, maybe not in no particular order and shit, but uh, my top three definitely would be. I, I think I mentioned this last week was a uh, best man holiday. Yeah, I know with Denzel and Whitney, and that's why I, that's why I'm, I'm uh, ashamed I haven't seen it all the way through because. It's got two uh, dynamic people in there, yeah. uh, but uh, best man holiday. That's my uh, that's one. Uh, the second one is uh, Christmas Story. That's one. Uh, now the third one uh, may <laughs> it may not be popular amongst black people, uh, but I do like uh, shit. What was the God damn it? I can't think of the name. Oh, it's a Wonderful Life. All right, so I do like it's a Wonderful Life. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Come on, dog. You don't, don't know what know. it's a wonderful life, dog. I don't know what the fuck is the wonderful life. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Krista, what up, though? Krista, Krista just checked in. She said Home Alone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, that shit. I did, I did fuck with Home Alone. I fucked though. Home Alone, too, it, though. It didn't, it didn't make my top three, though. No. It, it didn't make my top three. I home Alone was the shit, though. Damn. I had All of them after two of them was fucking shit. Uh, how many is the motherfuckers? I don't know. Three. Three or four? I don't know. But Home Alone, yeah, the first one was the shit, though. Then the little dude and shit, uh, he had a brother or something in one of them, right? And like the old ones and the newer ones, really? I don't know. But yeah, that wasn't one of my top three, but that shit was cool, though. But yeah, it's a wonderful life, dog. You don't know about it's Charles a Jones life. said Bad Santa. That's two dudes said Bad Santa? Yeah. yeah All right, so that's like two that, people man. say Bad Santa? Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, that's my shit, though. I Darlene like said, I like that. I like that one, too. Uh, it's a wonderful life. That's for real. That's what the fuck is that, bro? Oh, so look, it's some old shit, bro. Some hella old. It's shit. black and white. Yes, it's black and white. Yes, it's black oh, and white. Man, I definitely. But it's that. like, oh, right? Denise says Scrooge. You know what? Why is that not one of my favorite movies, though? No. No, it's not though. Scrooge though. Scrooge was alright. Scrooge was good. And I don't, which one are you talking about? The original one or the one with Bill Murray and shit? The one with Bill, Bill Murray was funny. Yes, it was. Funny. Yeah, the one with Bill Murray was funny. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's a wonderful life. So. Old ass black and white movie. I mean, basically, it's just really uh, understanding, understanding like how how good you actually have it in life, basically. Because like, what happens is at the beginning is a dude that's getting ready to like kill himself, jump off a bridge or whatever. So the dude stop him from you know killing himself, and then that's when he start realizing like kind of what we say uh, all the time. Like when you look at somebody else's life, you realize that your shit ain't really that bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's one of, basically one of those situations. Uh, Darlene says before your time. Uh, <laughs> It is before all of our times and shit. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just be saying that shit on uh, I be saying that shit on uh, Channel Four or something. Before my time, there's a lot of movies before my time that I can enjoy, but that yeah. one black and white Christmas movie. I mean, Screws was originally black and white. Oh, she said the Bill Murray one. Yeah, that that one is funny though. Um, my favorite Bill Murray. This is off the subject too though. But my favorite Bill Murray uh movie though is uh, <laughs> Groundhog Day though. Actually, I I thought it would be Caddyshack, but that ain't really his movie though. It's kind of like everybody's movie. It's probably Rodney Dangerfield's movie. I don't know if it's everybody's movie, but yeah, I, I kind of like uh, I like uh, what you call it, Groundhog's Day. Somebody said something else. Yeah, Charles Jones said Friday with Ricky Smiley. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, guess, I mean, basically, that is a Christmas that movie, is, though, right? Yeah, it is a Christmas movie, yeah. 
For sure. Damn, Friday. That's uh, what Friday after next, right? Yeah. Dog, next Friday was trash, man. Yeah. I mean, all right, well, I ain't going to say trash. Like trash. But out of the trash. three, though, it's definitely the weakest one, I think. Which one is three? Uh, Friday after next. So out of the three. What's the Rancho Cucamongo? Who? Rancho Cucamongo. No, that's uh, that's two. that's two. Yeah, that's two. Yeah, that's one of the that's one of the worst ones, though. Yeah, the, the third one is the one where the uh, you know, where you stole the stealing Christmas and shit. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, I think that was one of the worst ones. I see it Fr- Friday. That didn't make it either though. Damn, I guess I went. Uh, I guess I wasn't thinking, or maybe I was thinking too hard. Y'all gotta get up on It's a Wonderful Life though, for real. Check that shit out. YouTube that shit, man. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you can find that old shit. It is black and white, so I don't give a fuck. Uh, I ain't watching it. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't watching that shit. Uh, what What is your least favorite Christmas movie? I don't know, man. I ain't shit. I you, you know what I haven't seen? I've never seen The Grinch. That's what, uh, what you call it, right? Uh, my man. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey, yeah. I've never seen that shit. That shit was all right. That shit was all right? That shit was all right. I've never seen that shit, though. Just like the fucking cartoon, man. No, for real. <laughs> I, I, my, uh, I think out of those three, though, that I, that I mentioned, I do think that actually... Uh, you yeah, probably won't understand again, obviously, because we're talking about something that you you've never seen. But I, it's a wonderful life. Really, is probably my favorite out of all three. Well, at least it's probably your number one. <laughs> you don't even know it though. You just said it. <laughs> the motherfucking best man out there. I don't fuck Nigga, with what? I Why? I ain't fuck with. It. I ain't never saw it. You ain't never seen it. Shut the fuck up. Nope. Best man holiday. Best man holiday. You ain't never seen that I've shit. Never seen it. What the fuck? What kind of nigga are you? I'm just saying, I ain't never seen it, bro. How the, the fuck you ain't never seen that shit? Because I ain't never seen it. I ain't have no interest to watch this shit, bro. Damn, you, you ain't like the first one, nigga? Yeah, it was all right. All right, so, whatever, dude. It was all right, but shit. Yeah, I talk shit, nigga. I know. I mean, I, I, I ain't into the drama and shit, man. <laughs> It's supposed to be Christmas and shit. It's supposed to be happy. Don't make me cry. Then make me laugh. Oh no, you stupid. Well, that's what shit. it's a wonderful life is like, though. So shit, no, I don't want to see that yeah. shit either. That's probably why I don't like. It was crying. uh, was the Gremlins during Christmas? Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah. Gremlins was my shit too, though. Yeah, yeah Gremlins was shit. my shit. What about uh? Remember that shit that came out? Was that last year or year before? Uh, Almost Christmas with uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, Monique and shit. That was funny. That was funny. Yeah, that was but funny. you know which one I do like though? Um, I don't What's know with the one with Chris Brown in it. Oh, what the fuck? What's the name of that shit? And then um, Laura London. Laura London, yeah. Uh, that was a good one because she got me on the frozen. Is it this Christmas? This Christmas? One I don't know one of them shit. One of them shit. Yeah. Hey, but them motherfucker got me on them frozen grapes, bro. You put some grapes in the freezer, bro. Uh-huh. Bitch like frozen popsicles, bro. That bitch is fire, bro. Word? Grapes frozen in the grapes. freezer, bro. Yeah, it's frozen grape, bro. That shit was on the movie? I don't yeah, remember that it part. It was on that movie, yes. yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Andrew's I, album was in that movie? Yeah, I, re- I remember the movie. I don't remember really seeing that shit. Yeah, this Christmas. Yeah, mm-hmm. then he said it. Um, you know what? Oh, shit, it was one that was just on my mind. Oh, dog. One that I've never seen. Now, this is one that I ain't never even... I didn't have any aspirations to see, dog. This motherfucking uh, Medea's Christmas, dog. Oh, never. I had no aspirations to see that shit. And, and don't get me wrong, I've watched a few Medea movies and shit, dog. But uh, the Christmas one, I yeah, I, I didn't partake in that shit at all. Um, like outside of uh, outside of Christmas movies, though, I know you said you you do love you love Christmas and shit. Mm-hmm. Like what what the fuck else do you do at Christmas though, other than watch movies and shit? Like what you what you enjoy most about Christmas? Cause I figure we not gonna be on air no more until after Christmas, so. Foodies, cuz come on, bro. It's the best, the best part. Yeah, the foodies. The foodies is the best part to me, bro. Yeah, shout out to my man Jay, whose birthday is on Christmas. And so. my, you know, yeah. my brother's birthday on Christmas though. So you know, we get together and we sit in the circle and wear our pajamas on. Still <laughs> to this day. Shut the fuck up. We, For real? We in our pajamas every <laughs> Christmas, bro. At my, mama, at my mama house, bro. So. Oh, that's cute yeah, as some shit. Yeah, yeah. So we do that. You know, what I mean, we might do this this year. My brother's in town, so you know. Oh yeah, shout out to my nigga Join in town. Yeah, he came in town what, yesterday. Was For it sure. Wednesday? Wednesday. Yeah, you came to Camping Karaoke Wednesday. Camping Karaoke Wednesday. For sure. Uh, Christmas is fucking just family and food, bro. It's the for best sure. part. That's the best part for me, bro. No, no doubt. I can Chilling agree with Chilling with the that. fam and the foodies, baby. Yeah. All kinds of cakes and pies and cakes and pies. Cakes and pies. <laughs> 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 Hell I just no. go to auntie's houses, go to everybody's. Everywhere you stop is going to be a cake and pie. Something different. <laughs> 
Right. You can't get by. You ain't bullshit. You be banging that ass yeah, off, right? Yeah, everywhere you stop is going to be a different cake. You some red velvet. <laughs> you all kinds of cakes. I don't fuck with red velvet. I'm about to get this Lorna Doom cake. This lady, I saw this Lorna. I fuck that with Lorna Doom. I don't fuck with them. I fuck with Lorna Doom's heavy. It's fucking shortbread cookies? Yes. I'm super straight, nigga. You know, Give me some chocolate chips. Chocolate chips? Chocolate chips. Hey, yeah. so... What's your, uh, we getting ready to get out of here because it's almost 11 o'clock, but, uh, what's your ultimate, ultimate Christmas gift, though? Like, what's the Christmas gift that you would, the, the ultimate Christmas gift, though? What, what would that be for you? Um, um, head. <laughs> no. No, this no, thing's no, no. stupid, no. dog. <laughs> wow. No, I'm just joking. I'm fucking around. I don't know, man. Like, I want a smoker, you know what I'm saying, for, my, for, for the backyard, you know what I mean? Okay. I would like a smoker. That's that's the ultimate gift for me, but, yeah. I mean, give me a motherfucking check with some fat-ass numbers on it. Duh, right? <laughs> a motherfucking check, uh, give yeah, me that cash. Give me some cash. Right, I feel you. Def- definitely, uh, definitely cash is a go-to. But if I had to, uh, if I had to put it into, uh, like, something material, I think, from the, the best gift that I would think at this point... Outside of uh, our, you know, our own studio space, <laughs> would be uh, what's the name of the joint? Oh, the Rodecaster three thousand and shit, right? So uh, it's, it's a soundboard and shit. Oh my god, it's I'm a like, soundboard. Yeah. I'm thinking it's an RV. <laughs> no, it's, a, <laughs> it's a soundboard. Now you can put sound effects and all that kind of shit on. So that'd be my ultimate, uh, the ultimate gift and shit. But the one that the the gift that like nobody can actually afford and shit would be like uh like my own whole studio space and shit yeah. so I can do podcasts and take pictures and do all that crazy shit though. that would be my ultimate right there and shit what's your what's the worst gift you ever had um uh, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer Draws <laughs> somebody bought you that shit for real yeah, it was my mad as a motherfucker man <laughs> who the fuck would do some shit like that my old bird <laughs> on purpose on purpose like Duh, it was the worst no. Christmas I ever had though cause everybody got shit I, cause I was the oldest he was the oldest yeah you know, so everybody happened. got some shit but me yeah. I got some drawers in the wallet <laughs> so I would just bring that shit up to my mama every time I see <laughs> drawers in the wallet was, like, you gonna give me some motherfucking Rudolph the Red on wearing your drawers in, some wallet, in a wallet Hey, now you granted, need that shit, I, though. Granted, I kept the wallet for, like, fucking 15 years. <laughs> right? Hey, niggas be holding on the wallet, don't they? Niggas be holding on the sales. Bro, I had that motherfucker about 15 years. I need a new one as we speak. But that was by, by far the worst Christmas. What was the worst Christmas you ever had? No, the worst Christmas I ever had, dog. It ain't the worst Christmas. It was just the worst Christmas gift, though. And, uh... <laughs> so... <laughs> All right, so this is what it was, man. The worst Christmas gift, dog. So, um... I'm not gonna, I guess I won't say who it was and shit. But Don't say who it was. I won't say who it was. But we was at my grandma's house. So you can imagine how old I was because my grandma's been passed away for a little while. The one, uh, obviously, the one that's not living. Um, so uh, we, w- we was over at the house and we was uh, exchanging gifts. And uh, it was a package in there for me. And I thought it was like a, uh, I thought it was like a, a sweater or something like that. Because I knew it was clothes, so I could tell. So uh, when I opened it and shit, though, right? It was a it was a white knit it was a white knit uh, scarf right I mean a knitted scarf though like an old white lady scarf you know what I'm saying I'm just like first of all I don't even wear scarves and shit but a knitted scarf though like what am I a girl and shit so I that was the worst gift um, I, that was the worst gift I've had uh, so shout man, out give me one of the bitches today but I'll be- I mean I mean not a knit a white knit though like not white but right like like what am I a young lady and shit like what the fuck is this like I'm going with your heels your white heels <laughs> duh right my pearls and shit what the fuck bro but anyway so yeah that was that was my worst gift and shit um I'm, I'm trying to think yeah that I, they had to have been I mean obviously the worst gift is not getting nothing at all that's the worst Show. it's not getting shit so at this point though I mean I was I was a kid then so that that don't really count as an adult though. Um, I haven't really gotten any bad gifts because I either, you know, I either got what I what I asked that person for or um, I just really didn't want nothing. I'm, I'm kind of at a point now that I really don't be wanting shit. I don't care. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't really care. But cash like, is always I good do. though, like like my old man say, because he loved the fucking uh, what's that Cardi B commercial? Yeah, yeah. Where she be talking about cash. Hey, I do want the motherfucking cheese piece of cheesecake. I expect a piece of cheesecake every Christmas. From anybody? Anyway, anyway. <laughs> I'm going to get a piece of cheesecake. From anywhere. From anywhere. <laughs> All right, well, y'all heard it, dude. Cheesecake, I'm pulling up. Cheesecake. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, I had no, I had no cheesecake. With the cherries, I don't like the with the strawberries that much. I like it with the cherries on it. I love strawberries. No, oh, okay. All right, something for y'all to think about if y'all want to get my man something. Oh, we got shit coming too, though. What's that? Oh yeah, we got some yeah, we got some treats coming and shit. Shout out to my man Joe Devet. Hopefully, it get here soon and shit. Uh, we'll let y'all know how that went. Uh, probably on the next show, which I'm assuming will probably be Friday, probably. Because uh, Monday, we probably take the day off. But we'll let y'all know just in case. Um, it's just about time to get up out of here, though. If you got a last-minute comment, to uh, hit us in the comment box right now. We will read it live on the air. Uh, but right now, we're getting ready to go around the block one last time. Hit me in the comment box. Your top three Christmas movies, dog, what you want to talk about. Um, put that in the comment box. Uh, also, too, don't forget that tonight and tomorrow, uh, especially tomorrow, <laughs> make sure you pull up to the Easy Street Saloon uh, tomorrow, 16101 East 10 Mile Road. Man, we're going to have a, a little soiree. Uh, shout out to Gigi. Nikes, you know For sure, Adidas versus Nike. So I'm going to have Chuck's on, and that's cool because they made by Nike, so we good. Uh, <laughs> right? Uh, also, no. too, no, not right. Okay, whatever, though. Uh, so, yeah, make sure you pull up tonight, too, man. We're going to be pouring up tonight. $3 shots until 7 o'clock. $5 shots all night long, man. Lamb chops ready? For sure. For sure? All right, lamb chops ready, man. Make sure you pull up and get some of these tasty-ass motherfucking lamb chops. Come drink up with us and do all that good shit, man. Also, don't forget to go to my page and uh, get my book here. Let me grab it because I didn't have it ready. Bam, there we go. Let me pull my microphone back to me. Uh, those brilliant bastards, make sure you pick that up. Get you a copy for only $20, dog. Uh, autographed copy, man, sent to anywhere in the USA and shit at no additional charge. So make sure you pick that up and make my Christmas great again. All right? But uh, on the way out, dog, any last words about uh, Christmas, Christmas movies, or any motherfucking thing? Um, yeah, man, I just want people to, you know, stay safe out here this Christmas, you know what I'm saying? Keep your head on the swivel. I know a lot of people are going to be out here shopping, and there's a lot of sharks out here that's ready to get your ass. Sure. So... No, keep your head on a swivel. Watch out for your family members because they are taking bitches in <laughs> Michigan. <laughs> they, yeah, are. they are. No bullshit. No like, bullshit. I, I don't even mean to laugh at that because it's true. It's so true, man. I don't mean to say bitches, but women, for real. Like, for yeah. real, for real. Like, they are taking these motherfuckers. So, y'all be careful out here, man. Watch y'all ladies. Watch y'all sisters in the house and every goddamn Everything, thing. Everything, for real, for you know real. what I'm saying? For real, for real. So, stay safe. Hope everybody get what they want to get for Christmas. I don't really care, you know what I mean? Like, Correct. if I don't get anything, it's, it's, it's just the pleasure of being with the family and eating. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So, that's all I got to say on the way out. That's what's up, dog. And on that note, dog, for real, uh, same thing, man. Be safe this Christmas. Darlene said Merry Christmas and stay safe. Same to you. Uh, make sure that you do arrive alive, man, so don't party too hard so that you can, can arrive alive. And do for real, make sure you check on your aunties, grandmas, mamas, sisters, daughters, nieces, all that good shit, man, because they are... They are on high alert right now, so make sure you be safe out here. Um, also, uh, shout out to my man Jay. Happy birthday to you, bro, coming up. Uh, okay. Shout out to Gigi. Uh, her birthday is on the 23rd. Happy birthday. Come, come, Make sure you come down and celebrate with us on Saturday, 16101 East 10 Mile Road. That's Easy Street Saloon. Make sure you pull up, though. Uh, and, yeah, that's it. Merry Christmas to all you niggas, man. Arrive alive, dog. Buy a book, make my Christmas great again. <laughs> make sure you go to partymyeastside.com. Also, pick up your hats, scullies, t-shirts, all that good shit. Use the uh, promo code eBlock Radio and get 25% off. Yo, we up out of here, dog. We ain't gonna see y'all till after Christmas. <laughs> well, love, man. We love y'all, baby. For sure, love y'all, man. Yo, hey, over 10,000 streams, dog. Over 10,000 streams this year. So thank y'all. Appreciate it. Appreciate man. all the love, man. And that's just on the audio, right? So we got more than that on video. But on audio, we got over 10,000 streams, and we owe that all to y'all. So thank y'all for listening to us everywhere on iHeartRadio, on Spotify, on uh, iTunes, all that good shit, man. Keep on supporting us, and we love that shit, dog. But uh, to the next time, you already know what it is. The Live is Cloud Radio Show on the planet. That would be Earth. Straight from the E-Block Radio, live on your dial right this moment, man. My man Monk Money holding it down. Yeah. And, of course, it's your boy, the hood, Howard Stern, Q Lewis, holding it down live from the 48205. Man, Merry Christmas, y'all. Merry Christmas. I let your loved ones, people, for real.